The thumbnail of this video is not a clickbait. Hello, this is Nassar, and in this video I'll share with you some advanced techniques that you can apply using iMovie on iOS. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a cinematic fantasy scene of a dragon on your iOS device. Please take note that this video is not a tutorial on how to use iMovie. I do however have another video for that. If you are an absolute beginner, I highly encourage you to click on the suggested video link appearing at the top right screen. Otherwise, I'll assume that you already know the basics of using iMovie and you're ready to learn new and fun techniques. One great thing about iMovie on iOS is the ability to use an overlay layer, which is technically a second layer of video. There are four actions that you can perform on the second layer, and we'll go through them all. The first option is called Cutaway. This option is useful for using another video as a b-roll. Put simply, I think you would find this option most useful when your main video is either an explainer video, vlog, interview, or just a discussion video. Use the b-roll to show the audience what you're talking about. Typically, b-rolls will have no audio, and the audio from your a-roll video will continue playing over the b-roll cut. To use the cutaway effect, select the clip you wish to use as a b-roll. Click on the three dots icon, select cutaway. In this example, we are assuming the talk is about a musical performance. Position your b-roll video wherever you want. Add b-rolls as much as needed to give your video a higher value. The next option would be the split screen option, and this option allows two videos to be played side by side. A good use case for this type of action is when you want to compare different topics, products, location, or whatever. To achieve this effect, select the clip you want to display side by side. Click on the three dots icon. Select the split screen. You can switch the split orientation and direction by pressing the swap icon. You can also choose to keep a borderline between the videos or not. Another action you can perform with your second layer video is picture in picture. This will be useful if you're doing a screen recording tutorial, demonstration, or even gameplay streaming and you want to include yourself in the footage, talking or just interacting with your audience. Another very clever way to use picture in picture is to add overlays and banners to your videos. Perhaps you want to add your business or channel logo or even a subscribe card for your YouTube channel. To have a video or an image in picture on picture mode, select the desired clip, click on the three dots icon and select picture in picture. You can then reposition the second video by clicking on the arrows icon and holding the video and moving it to your new desired position. You can also resize the video by pinching in and out. You can keep the border or remove it. You can follow the exact same steps to add a logo or a graphic element to your video. The final action you can perform is making the video a green screen overlay. This is a very powerful tool for adding effects to your videos or changing a green screen in your video to your own background. Honestly, I'm very surprised that iMovie on iOS can handle green screens really well, and I think this feature can really help create wonderful videos. In this example, we're using an aerial footage of the sky, and we're adding an airplane to it. To use the green screen effect, first, have the main background in your timeline. Next, select the green screen footage, then add it using the three dots icon and select green slash blue screen option, and watch the magic happen. A tip I would like to share with you is adding cinematic bars to your video. Cinematic bars are basically black rectangular areas at the top and bottom of your video frame. Not only do they make your videos look professionally shot, but they also help the audience focus on the main subject. First, you need to download a cinematic bar image from the internet. I will leave a link for that in the description. Once you have it downloaded, insert it into your timeline as a picture-in-picture -picture overlay. Scale it up so that it is centered and covering up your whole video as you can see in this example. And that's it, you now have cinematic bars for your video. Great, now we have covered all of the four actions that you can make. However, one limitation iMovie has is that you can only add one overlay effect per one clip in the timeline. 
This means that in one project, each clip can only have one effect. So you can have a green screen effect for one clip and a picture in picture overlay for another. But what if you want to add multiple overlays for one clip? I will show you how to do that. It might be a bit tedious, but the results are worth it. Watch and learn. Alright, in this project, I'm adding the dragon CGI effect to this shot by using the green screen effect that we discussed earlier. Then, I will export the project and save the video to my library. Next, I will open a new project and import the footage that I just exported. I think you can see where this is going. Now, I will add some title that I created somewhere else as a picture-in-picture -picture overlay. Then, I'll export it again. Finally, I'll create a new project one last time and import the video I just saved. Then, I'll add the cinematic bars. And now, we have applied three overlay layers using only iMovie to create this fantasy-themed scene. You can even go deeper and layer multiple green screen effects and even graphical elements using this method. If you reached this part of the video, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel to support me and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Also, leave a comment to give us feedback and tell us what you'd like to see next. This content is brought to you by Nassar Digitals. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram. Have a great day ahead.